Hey guys. Okay, so I had another video planned for today, but unfortunately I had a small setback, so I'm gonna have to do that in hopefully another week or two. So instead of doing that, I am going to give you guys a garden tour and show you guys what all I have growing. Okay, so let's get started with that. Okay, so up here in the very front, those are buckets that I'm using to collect rain from a gutter that just kind of ends there. So I just kind of collect them in here, and they're getting kind of scuzzy, but that's, eh, it's rainwater. It's for plants. It's not like I'm drinking it. Okay, so right here in the front here, we've got a whole ton of beans. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but they've got, that they are just loaded with with flowers and blossoms and buds. I've got over 450 bean plants here. Uh, over in this little chunk here, I've got a single sunflower. This is actually one of the sunflowers that I grew using the winter sowing method. I couldn't be happier. That's the best sunflower I've grown ever, actually. The last time I tried to grow sunflowers, they didn't make it beyond three inches. Okay, and I've just got tons of beans. They just go on and on and on. And over here, this particular portion is loaded with flowers. Can you see them all? There's just hundreds of them. And then over here, right in front of my beans, I've got three pepper plants. I don't know why they don't get very big. I think it's because they're not getting enough sunlight. I've got a red bell pepper there. I've got, got who are you? I've got a cubanella pepper here. And over here, I have a carmen pepper. All sweet peppers right here. And then over in this area, you might recognize these cages from one of my old video, from a video I did probably about uh, two months ago, maybe, from planting peas. As you can see, the peas are doing great. They're big, they're bushy. But in the middle here, I've got a tomato. This is a lemon boy tomato. It grows a fairly good sized yellow tomato. I believe it said it's a slicer tomato. Whoa, dropping the camera. Sorry guys. Uh, there it is. Can you see that? Is it focusing? Focus. 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 It's a lemon boy, if you can't tell. Now, I'm, now some of you will probably ask why I'm using these cages, because they're pretty much useless for tomatoes. That's why I have these sticks here. As the tomatoes grow, I'm actually going to take their branches and just weave them over and tie them onto these sticks. And since most of these tomatoes are all indeterminate, they'll just keep growing and growing and growing, and I'll just have, like, walls of tomato plants. It's going to be like a little maze in through here. I've got about four, 14, 15, 16, 17. i got, like, 18 plants in here. So that's a lot of mater. Got another sunflower over here. I've got the sunflowers scattered all throughout the garden. So, I've got peas. I've, there's another sunflower right over there. That guy right there. I've got peas and tomatoes all in through here. And I've got margla... Let's see. See if I can remember who's, who's what. That's the lemon boy. This one and his friends are all romas. These three here, this one, that one, and that one are all marglobes. This one, I believe, is another Roma here. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. These three here are all brandy wines. That one, that one, and that one. These two are orange cherry tomatoes. They're both different varieties. These are from the How to Plant Tomato tomato plants video I did. As you can see, they're doing great, fantastic. They're big and they're already starting to set flowers. That's the Fruit Punch Picnic, and that one is the Chadwick Cherry. And if we come over here, this one, this one, that one, and those two in there, that one and that one, are both, are all yellow pear tomatoes, which is a little cherry yellow tomato that's kind of shaped like a pear. These two here are my hot peppers. 
Whoa, what varieties are you? I forget. I've got a jalapeno, gotta have a jalapeno. And a Tabasco. Here's my one and only cucumber. He looks great. That, I'm not even kidding. That's the best cucumber I've ever grown. I suck at cucumbers, I don't know why. Okay, coming over here, we've got a little baby butternut squash that I'll set up a chalice for eventually. And then here are the zucchinis that I also had a video on. How to transplant zucchini seedlings. As you can see, they're all doing wonderful. Another sunflower. I just scattered the sunflowers everywhere. This is a patch of surprise onions that appear to be dying back, so I may harvest them soon. Or I'll just leave them in the ground and harvest them as chives next year. I don't know. haven't decided yet. Uh, there's another sunflower there. And that patch had all been broccolis, but slugs ate every single one. So instead of broccolis, I have a mammoth strawberry here, but it's old. It's not really producing any berries. But I am getting runners galore from it. So I'm going to have plenty of new strawberry plants. That is the one surviving broccoli plant. The only one. And this little stick looking thing here, that's another broccoli. I'm not holding out much hope for it. Okay, we got an oregano. We got an oregano there. We got a Thai basil there. We got a little thyme there that's not doing so hot. We got a sweet basil. Another oregano. Another sweet basil. Another thyme that's not doing so hot. Another Thai basil. And another oregano. And then behind the herbs, I've got one, two kale plants. Which, those are also the best kales I've ever grown. Last year they died. This is the first time I have ever grown cauliflower, and it looks fantastic. I have no complaints. There's another one here that got attacked by slugs, and then another one there that got attacked by slugs. The slugs didn't like this one. Don't know why, but you know what? I'm not questioning it. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I have in my garden, guys. Just thought I'd uh, show you guys that real quick until I can get the other video that I'm going to put up, which will be, which will have to do heavily with herbs. I haven't decided exactly which herbs I'm going to use, but don't worry, I will be using some. And also, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, I would have uploaded, um, I would have continued to upload, but my Wi-Fi died. My internet had problems and it died on me. So I really wasn't able to upload anything, and it's also been kind of hectic. I had to move out of my room. I'm currently living in a tent in the front yard. I'm living in a tent in the front yard. Because my room is getting new flooring put into it, so it's been kind of hectic over the last few weeks. But I hope to get back into making videos again. Alright, well, that's everything I wanted to show you guys. So, I will hopefully have another video for you guys within a week or two, and I will see y'all then. Bye.